In Jeremiah 7, God commands us to listen. He says, Listen to my voice, and then I will be your God, and you will be my people. In Isaiah, God urges us, Listen to me. Pay attention to me. Listen, and your soul will live. Clearly a command to listen and to hear God's words. In the New Testament, in Luke, Jesus says, A child of God listens to the words of God. If you refuse to listen, it is because you are not God's children. So this Lent, a challenge that I've set for myself, is to pause, reflect and try and find time to listen to God. And what does that mean? Well, on a human level, it means making time to listen to family, friends. When I'm busy and someone comes in from school or work and I say, how are you? I actually stop and hear it properly rather than just moving on to my next task. To stop and to pause. On a spiritual level, to find ways to listen to God in my everyday life, to declutter, to allow God into my thoughts, to find that space and that time somewhere during the day where I stop and listen to that inner voice. Maybe not speaking at God, but just stopping and listening. So in a sense I'm saying I'm going to try and unplug and switch off so I can hear God speaking to me. At the end of each day, I've used over the years an awareness prayer, a prayer of just trying to look back on the day and trying to remember and see where God is and where I've listened to him. And my prayer would go something like this. I would just pause and I would think of the morning, of moments during the day. And I'd thank God for my day. And I'd thank him for the good things. And then I'd ask was I listening to you, God? Was I listening to you with my heart or was my head elsewhere? And I asked him to forgive me for when I didn't listen and to remind me to listen in the future. <laughs>